Nuclear missile ready. Welcome back, everyone. <clears throat> it's good to be back. Nice little break. It was a little messed up. However, I'm going to be casting some of the group stages from season two. I never got casted. Um, I'm going to have some fun with these. Guys, I need to see a drink here. Eat some quality sweets, some good, good candies. Well, ah, oh, gotta have a snack, you know. All right.
Let's get in the first area here. You're gonna go random whatever I have from season two. There's no too many games given to me, so I'm gonna just cast the games that I have. Get some exposure for these guys, these young fellows. As well. All right, these are all best three series here, guys. All right, guys, representing Exxon. Team Exxon, we have here as the light blue Protoss, we have Ruichi. Ruichi. And representing Art Gaming, Angie. And Archangel Gaming. Jeez, I need some energy, guys. Let's get it up here for Battle Bee. Guys, not too much going on here. It's it's a basic opener here from both players. Nothing too fishy. So we get get a probe to attack the SUV as well here. All right, so Ruchi is going for the expand here, going for the ex ne oh. Nexus before Cybercore here, and Battle B is going to see that here with this beautiful SUV scout here, getting his command center on the low ground as well here. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. As it was pretty sunny earlier now, the clouds have come in here, so it looks like we might get some snow today, but however. I'm gonna cast as many games as I can until supper, and then throughout the week I'm gonna cast some more. It'll be interesting to have. Just to cast some of these group stage games and Hopefully next month I can get some of the re games from our qualifiers and that. Which are happening on next weekend, not this weekend coming, not the first weekend of February is our first qualifiers. Our depth is here, pushing the Reaper away as usual, running across the map. In that stalker as well. We're getting the Twilight Council here as well. Very early. In that early blink. Hopefully. Reaper's gonna come in here. Realize right. there's a Reaper wall here. Alright, sees. The up over here is gonna shade into the depots here. Not gonna do much. A couple of Marines are gonna be out here. Push this away. We're getting a couple gateways here at the front here. Starport as well. Maybe a drop. Maybe a little mine drop. Maybe a Hellion drop. Who knows? However, the adept does get in here. Not a really good trade. Adept for E S C V. Not really good. And almost a second one. Not a good trade here. For Rurushi. This warp gate finishes here. We're gonna get that robotics facility as well here. It's inside the wall here. We're gonna get Blink as well. Hallucinated Phoenix here from 
Richie. Going to scout here. Jeez, there's a lot of Marines here from Battle B. Jeez, there is another two barracks. Where is the engineering bay? The engineering bay here being behind the mineral line here. Blink almost finished here as well. For Ruchi, we got the Raven here, which is nice. You can get the um, interference matrix onto that warp prism. Get the anti armor missile as well here. Auto turrets to do amazing as well. And now we have here the stalkers are going to come across here from for Ruchi coming from the side of the map. Getting his forges as well here. Double forge. Ooh, nice little block there with the warping of the stalker. Ruchi going for his third as well. Getting charge behind this. Where is his? Where are his? Oh, there, there, there's the forges. Looking for the forges. They're right in front of me that whole time. Reaper coming in. Gonna try to beep up. Yep, gonna beep up. Oh, nice force field there from Ruchi. Getting that. Keeping those hell the Hellion and Reaper out. You see here we got the Azerber now. Alright, Stalker's coming back home here. Just gonna try and push these Reapers and the Reaper and the Hellion away. We're gonna get plus one plus one from Ryuchi, and then we're gonna go combat shield stim and plus one infantry weapons here for Battle B. And Ruchi is going to cl finally clean up Reaper. Hallian little aggression here. However, we do have Stalkers are going to come here. But there is a lot of Marines here. They just use up their blank. Stim is not complete yet. Stim is going to be complete here in the next two seconds. So, and then they'll be able to stim across. There's a couple of Widow Mines here. Now Ruchi is kind of in trouble. These are Stim Marines with the Combat Shield. As Battleby is getting his third behind this as well. Ruchi a little, little oversaturated here on the minerals. Go ahead and put the widow mines down here. Coming here for a big push here. Plus a good plus one timing here. However, there is the widow mines here. Are gonna get cleaned up here, but they are gonna do some significant damage here to the zealots. And these marines are gonna be able to clean this up. The R plus one stim marines here. The Zealots coming in here. They're going to be plus one, plus one here shortly. Forcing Battle B here to be pick up here. And however, Battle B is going to force another drone pull here. Meanwhile, there is a double drop here of mines and marines here. Go and marauders going into the main base of Uruchi. As this drop is being pushed back to the third base. Little mine is going to get eight probes here as well. Total of 14, 15, 16 probes going down here. Some marauder zealots going down as well here. And Ruchi is going to be forced to tap out here, losing 18 probes in that attack there. GG, well played. Yeah. Battle V is going to take game number one. Go to game number two. Oh, almost ran over the dog here with the chair. Oh, geez. You guys can see him um, over here.
as we go to game number two. Just chocolate. This that one was a chocolate full of, fully chocolate quality sweet candy. There, belt is coated in chocolate. Yum yum, it's delicious. However, let's get into the introductions here. Representing Team Exxon, we have here that's the red protoss on the top right. So let's go. We have Ruchi. And representing Art Angel Gaming here as the green Terran on the bottom left hand side corner we have Battle B. All right, Battle B going with a double, a double, a double double drop to play here last game, having one of the double drops into the third, and another one comes a little. A little later, coming into the main base there of Ruchi. Because this probe is just going to be annoying. Battle B trying to get his command center down here. He is going to get it down on time. Because we are going to get a Cyber Core Nexus. This time. So, Ruchi switching it up. Probe is finally going to get cleaned up here. It's not going to be able to see the bunker coming down here and what the add-on is going to come here. We are going to get a B actor. Sorry, guys. But that. I'm just going to make sure it's the right, right add-on. I always get the two mixed up, even though the picture's right there. Oh, ooh, we're going to get another Twilight here. Reaper is going to see that. Ruchi going Twilight once again here. No robotics facility. We're going to get a B factory here. Now will Battle be going for another double double drop? Here as he gets that starport here. Now does Ryuchi see the starport? That's the next question. No he doesn't. He does see the add-on here. So, saw the tech lab. If he did click on it, hopefully he did click on that. So, however, we are getting a little bit harassed here. A couple probes are going to go down here to the Reaper. Reaper almost losing him. Oh, the Reaper is going to get picked off there by the probes. However, gets two probes for a struggle. Three, there are three adepts here, which is enough to clear out a Marine. Ruchi keeping this base under siege here now the marines are going to come out of the bunker here now the ooh, depth is going to shade up here but not going to even get in oh the depth is going to get in battle be oh, opening the door here to let the depths in the shade is going to get canceled though however this command center is going to most likely fall here which is going to might could push could possibly push Battle B into an all in. Going to shut the door here. The Marines are going to come down here. Ruji trying to get once again here, getting into the base, but however, that's not going to happen. Losing it, Phoenix is going to see everything. Most likely saw the Raven coming out here. We are going to get the Blink Stalkers once again as the robotics facility is going to finish up. Nothing too much happening here, guys. Just a little harassment from. The adepts. the adepts are going to shade here once again here. Now the marines are here to clean this all up. 
Two SUVs are going to go down here. And not a good trade once again from Ruchi. Getting th only two SUVs for three adepts. However, he is getting his third base behind this. As Battle B is going for Stim Combat Shields and his plus one infantry as well. Once again here. And we'd love to see what he's going to put on the factory here. Maybe a couple of little mines. And Ruchi going once again double forge as well. Very interesting. Doing double forge both games. Getting his double. He's trying to get the double upgrades before he. Kept, before Battle B gets his plus one here. Ooh, the nice little play here from Battle B. The, the Raven is going to drop an auto turret here. Now, the Raven here might get caught here. Yes, it is. It's going to get caught here. Pushing probes away from mining here. This is looking. This game is looking a little bit better from Ruji, but however, once again, Blink Stalkers versus soon to be Steam Marines here. Observer is going to see the double, the first double drop come across. Stalkers are on its way. Going to get caught here. Forcing to drop. To unload here. As there was an SUV in the drop, in the medevax here. Now, I believe he's crowned. Yes, he is. He's croning out plus one, plus one. And charge is almost complete here as well. Zerber is going to see the third base being built on location here. Immortals coming out as well. Plus one infantry weapons. It's going to be done shortly here in the next 10 seconds. Concussion shell as well. So this is looking good for Battle B with his bio here against his the gateways. Finally going to get plus one armor as well. However, Ruruchi is going to have plus one, plus one. And I believe Battle B is just going to go across the map here. Forces a recall here. And this is a lot of bi uh, triple M. We do have triple M here with Medivac support. Lucent Phoenix is going to see it. It is going to get denied here. Little Mines are going to go on the ramp here. Oh, the production is going to get shut down here from Battle B. For Ruchi. A lot of these zealots are going to get cleaned up here as well as they do have charge. 20 probes are going to go down here. The Marauders are going to take the front line hit here. And Battle B just, just stutter stepping against these stalkers. And Battle B is going to take game number two in the series. Sorry, this dog is chewing on the windowsill here. Hope everyone is having a fantastic day here. Well, they should probably tweet out here. Got some random message on Discord on the uh, the the leaks Discord account. Some from some from some fraudster. It's he's a fraudster. Too. I love that. Hey, 
I had to start talking to this entity. Find out later that it a fraudster. All right, guys. Which is the next series here? Not too many games here. You get a lot of replays, but I'm gonna cast what I have to catch up on the guys here at Cell. Destiny Star League as well. Season 3, once again, starting up on... Sorry, starting up on February 6th for Korea in North America. And then the 7th of February for EU. As we get something exciting here, as we have... I have one of my teammates here. I'm cast. Whatever. In this PVT, we have representing Alpha X in the bottom right hand corner of Lightshade. We have Axel Striker representing Alpha X in this group stage event here. And all the way from Korea representing. Shoot, I forgot what team he's representing, but I'll find out, and it's Junio, representing Korea. It's nice to have some Korean players actually in the second season, which is really nice. Um, three, two out of three Koreans we got last season did qualify for season three automatically. All right, so... Junio. Junio is representing Genesis Gaming. Here. As well. Oh. Nothing too much going on here. We have the standard Reaper Wall coming in here to effect here from Exo Striker. And we have a, the pesky probe. Just doing its pesky little thing. Nothing too much here. All right, getting the ne Cybercore Nexus here, Pixel Striker. As these guys did have to play on an a central and west. Just to have it fair game for both parties here. All right, getting the depth here. Getting a Stargate. One of the three possibility openers here after the cyber core is up. Exo Striker going for the safety of the Stargate here. With the factory here with the tech lab. Starport is going to come down here for Junio. Going very marine heavy here and some t a tank as well. As Extra Striker is going to get the Oracle as the first unit out of the Stargate. Follow up with the Phoenix. Very interesting indeed here. As the Oracle makes its way across the map here.
Marines all set and ready here. As the Phoenix is going to come across the map here. Well, group up with the Oracle. Got to travel with your buddies. As the... All right, this is where Axel Striker comes in. He's going to get the SUVs here. Almost getting a mule here as well. A lot of Marines, Vikings. Vikings coming out as well here. We're going to get a Cyclone as well here. As we are going to get a couple tanks in here as well. Marines are going to push out. We're going to get some Marine double tank here. Ooh, some SUVs being pulled here as well. This is looking very interesting from... Our Korean player. Korean player. Oh! Daniel is going to catch off these air forces. Vikings here as well here. To push back the Oracle. These three SUVs are going to come across here. Most likely for bunkers here. Beautiful setup here from the tanks here from Hunio. Gonna get pressure onto the stargate here, the gateway here. Sorry, as these the, the Phoenix are gonna lift up the gate, the tanks here. One tank does fall. Cyclone is here. And that tank is gonna get dropped here. Cyclone is gonna help finish up cleaning up the Phoenixes here. And there's all there is is stalkers here. Tank is just obliterating these stalkers back into the shield batteries. Show battery overcharge is expired here. And Hunio is able to put some pressure here. More Marines coming across the map. We are getting some Liberators as well. These tank shots are very loud, guys. And plus one ground weapons as well. This gateway is going to fall here. And now uh, you know he's going to stand here. Seeing that the more shield batteries and Immortal is going to come out here. And this is going to force Hunio to back off. Behind this, he's getting a third base here as well. However, he does not. He delayed Exo Striker from getting a third base as well here. As, as, as I say that, Exo Striker is going for his third base location. We're getting a robotics bay facility. Sorry, a robotics bay as well here. Making sure there is no orbital, sorry, not orbital, um, observer here. We do have a drop going here for the main. We have the Viking and Liberator. I believe the Liberator is just going into the, the natural here. Viking is going to try to land here, force the stalkers over here, which it does. Gonna get picked off here. This Liberator is going to come in here. So I'll siege up the mineral line here as the drop here coming into the forcing a warp in here of stalkers. Not target firing down the medevac. Marines are just going to push these stalkers away here. Delay the mine time here for Exo Striker. And ooh, target firing down the pylon here to stop the plus one. And plus one. Ground weapons here for Exo Striker is going to get stopped at 13.4 seconds. Finally, four Marines are going to get picked up here for four, four probes as well. Here, a couple Marines here on move command here are going to get picked off by the Stalker. Stalker's just been a nuisance here, being in the way here. Tank's going to show up here and saying, Beep, beep, let me through here. More Liberators going to get picked off here as well. This is, oh no, the move command is so real here. Finally, Hino realizes. And going to clean up the soccer for the cost of a free tank and a couple of Marines here. But there is a nice tank line here from Hino. Marines are going to get back in time here as well. This drop still being annoying. Getting additional... Three probes here from the natural location. Gonna get pick up and send over to the third base location here. However, this looks like it's gonna finally get it cleaned up here. 
And we got another tank on E move command. I don't know why. What's going on here? This this tank is being brave. Against plus one stalkers here. Gonna tickle a stalker. Gonna fall here. A couple more marines are gonna go across the map here. Where are this? No, oh, they're all located right there. Hunio finally realizing where his units were going here. Gonna finally siege up here. Beautiful tank line here. Getting a armory, a four, very open armory here as well. Loosening it, Phoenix is gonna see that as well. Plus two ground weapons and thermal lance is underway here. And you're know, getting the economic lead here. Over extra striker, extra striker needs to get a, Looks like he's going for his fourth base here. But he is gonna take that lead now. As we are getting some Colossus. In charge as well. Very interesting. Let's see the amount of tanks here. I'll let, how many tanks are there? There's six tanks. Six tanks versus, versus a lot of charge lots here. As we see here, both players are trying to move out here. You know, does not have a lot of medevacs here as well. There is Thermalance. Anti-armor missile is just going to hit one stalker, though. However, this is a plus one, plus one bio as well, versus just a plus one attack for... And these tanks are just shredding through this army of Exo Striker. Exo Striker needs to get... Oh, here comes the second class. The second class could be the saving grace here, but however, that is not enough. Too many tanks here. And Junio is going to take game number one as well. GG well played. Exo Striker was looking so good. They're getting the right read and getting the right composition to go against his opponent, Korean opponent here. However, that was not enough. All right, game number two here. To oxide, as it gets darker and darker, we gotta turn on the lights, guys. Oh, there. Go to game number two here in this best of three. I also would like to thank Maturino for supplying us with Maturino codes, as well as Berserker Esports. They are they have helped. They're starting to help us as well as one of the team sponsors as well we get into game number two here All right. so these guys are in our pro division as well all right let's give it up here for our yellow protoss representing Alpha X. We have Exo Striker. And representing Genesis Gaming. We have the Blue Terran. We have Junio. Alright. What about this map? It's like. Guys, if you'd like to help out with our match arena code as well, you have one for pro. I would give you guys the elite one, but however, it is all used up. All right, here's our pro match arena code. are opened as well as I saw some of the Alpha X guys use up some of the codes, but here's the extra codes as well. Just trying to get the codes used up for these guys. However, this probe is just going to be annoying here. Appreciate you guys helping us out in Match Arena for partnering up with us as well to give out 
a bigger prize pool. Because we are getting the Cyber Next. Next is here. From Exo Striker. Barracks into Factory. Hernia. Delaying is natural here. Very interesting indeed. Getting a starport as well. As we see here, he's most likely opting for a mind drop play here. Exo Striker going for that Stargate opener once again here. Hopefully he can make it happen and make it work this time, especially on this map. Probe is going to get pushed away. Whittle Mines are finishing up. It's going to be the four Whittle Mines. Oh! Just a couple precautionary. As our... Protest player likes to open the Oracle as well as he is. Because we are going to get a four Widow Mine drop this time. This is very interesting from our Rian player. Well, follow. The Medivac here. The Oracle is going to go across the map here as well. No, oh, the Widow Mines are not burled yet. Now, if those were burled, oh, there they are. They're going to burn out. Actual striker seen that they are burled. There is an armory here, so now they are invisible. Even after this fire. So we are going to get a couple of little mines here into the main, into the natural as well here. Only three probes so far. Ooh, additional two more probes are going to go down. So five probes in total. One is going to get exposed here by a revelation here, but the other one is not. And the second one is going to get revealed here. Oh no, Exo Striker. Where you no Exo Striker. And the Depth is going to get picked off here. And a Widow Mine is going to get picked off here. The Revelations and picked up by the Phoenixes. Couple more Widow Mines are gonna come down here. Four more. Beautiful play here. One's gonna get picked up here. Uh, I believe that was the e probe. Oh, three more probes are gonna get picked off. Oh, the Revelation's gonna get picked off here as well. Does the Oracle. And the Oracle is gonna get picked off here. S six Widow Mines for eight probes, two Adepts, and an Oracle. You know, it's probably because this is delaying mining time as well. He, as he's trying to rush out a oracle here to get these this widow mine. Widow mine takes another probe here. Let's see, oracle is out now. Gonna force down a cannon as well. Now the widow mines are gonna get revealed here and cleaned up here as well. Let's see here. Eight widow mines for nine probes. Almost even trade on the gas there, but getting those probes are very useful as well. Getting delaying and plus all that delayed mining time as well. As Junio tries to get another widow mine drop here. Matter of fact, is gonna get picked off here as well. He's running at a boost. Widow Mine is going to get picked off as well here. Good on for Extra Striker getting rid of Metavax. Oh, that Widow Mine was almost ready to rock and load there. However, it is going to get picked off. Third base for Extra Striker. Going to be first in this game.
Getting another, getting the robotics facility behind this Twilight Council as well. Plus one Grand Weapons is going to finish up here. However, Junio is going to come across the map here. Nothing too much happens here. A lot of Widow Mine drops. Viking production, Marine tank as well. Just a couple of Cyclones in this army as well. Nice force field. It's going to block the Marines and the SUVs trying to come here. SUVs going to come here to pull. Should there be a meat grinder here? Oh, the Vikings are going to land, but however, they are going to get picked up to back into the air here. Another Viking is going to show up here. Vikings landing. And Exo Striker is going to tap out. That is too much for Exo. And game number two goes to Junio. GG. Well played. GG, well played, Junio and Axel Striker. Young talent fighting it out. All right, guys, it's just a bunch of replays here. We have, I have here. We're gonna go to Romant side here. We have Hunio versus Hamano, our other Korean player. Tree stop. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are, are you doing, my man? Your day is going good. Just casting some replays from the Destiny Star League group stages that didn't get casted. Just to do a little files thing here for them. Well, promote the league. Not promoting my drink. They should probably take off the label. That's good, man. Let's get a couple Korean players here. TVT. So you hear that beautiful countdown. Oh, it. I. I know. I would love to say who, what it is, but I might get. I might get sued, and we don't want that. Unless they want to partner up with the league, I'll be gladly to promote their product. However, promoting this team here, Genesis Gaming, we have Junio. As the red tearing place player here and his opponent also from Korea representing this is the team I do not like to pronounce at all I believe it is here goes my Korean guys who can go T team or HTT we have Amano as the green tear in here. If yeah, that's Pepsi product. Yeah, if Pepsi Co is listening in, we would love to partner up if for you guys. However, I don't think Pepsi Co. It's not into esports that much, except for their Mountain Dew. In the Korean scene, if we are getting a factory here from Mono here, and while Junio is going to go command center first here, Mono seeing that ooh. Maybe I'll take that advantage. Meanwhile, the SUV is going to return here. The Reaper is going to return here as well. Now, did Junio see factory being built? That's my question. So, yes, he did. He saw the factory. Looking good here. Gained that bunker as well. Now, getting his own factory here as well. However, there is no... Reaper and a SUV attack here. 
against the Marine and the Reaper. Marine is going to get beat bopped here. The SCP is going to go down here. However, Mono is going to get his own command sent here on the low ground as well. But nothing too much, nothing too fancy here. There's a Reaper and a Hellion come across here. Pretty standard here. As both players get their star ports roughly around the same time, which is kind of nice here. Marine inside the bunker here. SUV is going to get inside the bunker here. Another Marine here is going to show up to the party. Reaper here as well. Hellion is really low as well here. Reaper needs to get out of there. And the Reaper is. The Hellion is going to get picked off here. One Reaper is going to get picked off here. And oh, both Reapers are going to get picked off here. Very interesting that Reaper survives with one health. It's two kills. MVP right there, ladies and gentlemen. That Reaper. Right there. And that's good for Junio to keep his Reaper as well. All the extra scouting. Junio knows he's now he's getting ahead here. He feels ahead. So he's going to get his third command center here as well. At the four minute mark. Getting his Raven as well. We're getting Banshee here from Hamano. I'd love to see Cloak. That'd be interesting as well. To make Hunio waste scans, not get mules. Which would be very interesting indeed. I was going to say, are those two SCVs still in the bunker? But nope, they're, it's all Marines. As both of these players are Grandmasters players. These are our Pro Division guys. All right, everything's taking shape and form here for Junio getting a couple more bunkers. EBT, I just love it. I love the tank standoffs. A Marine thinks he can take on a Heli and Reaper. No piano. And there we go. Junio is so far ahead here. Amato just starting his third base right now. Orbital is finished for Junio. Scan comes down. On who? On Amato. Junio is going to see that he is ahead. Ooh, be nice to pick off this SUV. Which he does. The third base is ha oh, just over halfway finished here, however. There is a strike force here of Hamano coming across the map here. A couple ta few tanks here, a couple Vikings, and a Banshee. Keeping tabs on this building here, which is kind of nice here, but however... This tank is actually going to get picked off here. Which is looking good for Hamano. Hamano has got the high ground here. Tanks here. SUVs are being pulled here. Amato has got the siege tanks here, but however, there are going to be some friendly fire here. Ravens with the auto turrets are going to come down here to shred up these tanks. Vikings are forced to land here as well with the GPS. And then they are going to be going back up in the air here. Get the high ground vision here. The Viking, sorry, the Raven is going to go down here as well. Vikings are forced to land once again. The Banshee's gonna fall here. The Hellion's gonna come back here and tickle the tank here with its flame floor. Fl oh my goodness, flame floor. Jeez, tongue twister right there. Gonna salvage the bunker here. Gonna get his third base landed here as well. Amano scanning, seeing that the third base is being moved here. Third base is not completed yet here for Amano. He still has to lift. And build the orbital as well here. However, 
With that delay, though, Pomano was able to take out the ar majority of Hunio's army here. Because they have equal army supply here. Pretty much ev even workers as well. Getting his Tunio getting his plus one plus one as well. Getting combat shield. Romano landing his command center. Getting his orbital here. Some are scouting marines here. Two by two. Making sure there's no fourth base down yet. Now Junio is gonna move out here. Well, he's getting his plus one, plus one. I was looking for like a timing attack here from our red turn player. I'm gonna rotate here. Marine scouting here to see, okay, where'd the army go? Checking where the army goes. The Vikings are on patrol over here on the left side of the natural. We're going to get that sentry tower as well. Ooh, a widow mine. No armor here, so the widow mine is going to get revealed here. Going to rotate once again. Maybe not. A couple of Marines did go down. Maybe we're going to get a double drop here. Most likely, that's what Hino is trying to do here. Trying to bypass the secret circle here. However, the circle goes all the way out. Got a booster there. Get a scan here. See a fourth base game built here. But that's going to get denied. And cancelled. And the marines here are plus one plus one here. Shredding apart the production here. The tank is going to get focus fired here. The medevac is going to get pushed away here. And this drop is going to cl clean up. But however the main push is right here. These are plus one, plus one stim marines. They are just going to shred these tanks. Going to sh going to back off from the Vikings, trying to force them into the tanks here. We're going to leapfrog the tanks here as well. However, these plus one, plus marines, marines are doing the job here, forcing Vikings to land as well. Oh, the Vikings! No, that's not a good position here. We're going to get parade push here as well. Oh, let's, let's over stim there. No better back support as well, but GG is going to be called, and Junio is going to take game number one. GG well played. Poor. Poor. Mono was getting his third base denied so many times, and then getting his fourth base denied, and... Cancel that as well. So that doesn't help as well. As so we go to game number two, as we go to light shade. Here. Hope everyone is having a spectacular day. As we go to game number two. Get into the introductions here. They're going to turn on another light here. Let's give it up here from Team Genesis Gaming. We have Junio from Korea. Also from Korea, we have here from H Team H T T. We have Hamano. As oh my goodness, I remember this. I remember Hamano doing this. Alright guys. Let's watch the SUVs. Build some proxy barracks as I turn on another light here. Just give me one second guys.
All right, what SUV is going to get picked off here? Yeah, the SUV is going to finish his jo his friend's job here. Or right, you know, it's getting that. high ground bunker here and getting the and getting a factory here as well very far back so that the mono cannot see it I'm gonna get another bunker here just in case there's reapers as well which it is gonna be a reaper build here proxy reapers with a marine escort here, as the other Reaper is going to go across the, the map here as well. As the two SUVs are going to return home and do their jobs of mining. As we get a factory back here back at home, but however, the SUVs are going to get beep bopped around here. The little dance here. A three S three, oh my goodness! Three Reapers are gonna come here into the base of Junio a Hellion here to clean this all up. The Reaper is finally gonna get a hug of death back here. One is gonna get one of them is gonna get picked off here. However, did the Hellion? Oh, the Hellion did fall to the Reapers as well. That is the unit's loss here. More SUVs are going to get picked off here. Another Reaper is going to get a hug of death. Going to get picked off. Reaper is going to come here in time. However, three SUVs, one Hellion can get picked off for this attack. As we are going to get that tech lab onto the factory. Get that siege tank or a cyclone. Cyclone part would be more useful than the siege tank here. We're getting a medevac as well. Oh my goodness, and here we go. The double proxy in the proxy. All oh, that high ground vision here. As we get a heli and four marines here. A drop here from our Red Terran player. I'm going to do a drop here. As we are getting concussion shell marauders here as well. This is very interesting indeed. Four Marines and a Hellion. Going to take out that Hellion, no problem. There is a Cyclone out now. Junio trying to do as much damage as he can, but this Cyclone is going to push this away and try to clean it up, however it is not. He's going to return here. Marines trying to target fire down the SUVs here. Sorry, the Cyclone, but is not. The Cyclone is going to push away the Medevac. Medevac is going to clean up here, but the Marines... The Marines are going to clean up that Cyclone. The psych, this Marine is going to try to finish the job he came here to do. Canceling a, a Supply Depot. And however, it is going to get the Hug of Death here. Almost the Hug of Death. However, we have a lot of Marauders here. And, and Siege Chang is going to come in here as well. The Barracks is going to get Focus Fired here. Ooh, a Raven as well here. This is very interesting indeed here. Command Center is gonna finally gonna come down and land here. And this... Barracks is gonna get... Ooh. Taken out here, get salvaged the bunker here. Love to see this bunker get salvaged as well. Command Center under attack here, being turning into an orbital. However, this the cyclone here with its lock on abilities here. Tank's gonna come down here to the low ground. 
The push is way the, the Marauders here. Cyclone here to do the damage to the Marauders once again here. These Marauders. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize how slow Marauders were. Until now. And that's gonna get cleaned up. I would love to see Hunio just go across the map here. However, there's a Raven here. From Hamano. As I say that, as I say, for Hunio go across the map here, he does. Cyclo two couple Cyclones here to intercept here, but however, there's a lot of energy on these Ravens for some tur auto turrets. She's tank taking out the tech labs here from the proxy. A lot of Marines and tanks. A lot of Marines here, actually, for Hunio. Hunio is just going to go up to the... There's three Cyclones here, though. However... To do a lot of damage here, but however, this siege tank is going to siege here. This bunker, sorry, this barracks is going to go down here, getting forced to be lift off here. As a Viking is coming as well here, because there's a lot of ravens here as well. Auto turrets are going to be thrown down here, three of them in total. Some friendly fire, whatever. This is going to force Hamato to push. Sure, pull his SCVs here, however. Beautiful job here from... Oh, SCVs, no, don't come to the tank. Beautiful triangle formation here from these Marines. Marines, Marines are going to get some friendly fire here, however. But this tank is going to go down before... And the Cyclones are going to go down here. There are two Marines here. There's a couple more... There's a few more Marines here. A okay, mag accelerator here as well for... Hamano, Hamano still building some Cyclones here, however. The Marines are going to get pushed back here to home. Meanwhile, the damage is back here from this Raven. 14 SCVs, however. There's 33 SCVs lost to Hamano. Hamano does not have a second command center as well. Nor a second orbital. That hurts a lot. Cunio actually going for a third CC behind all this. Getting a couple more barracks as well. This is looking good for our red Terran player. No medevacs here to support, however. That poor Cyclone coming out by itself. Getting a little tickle from the tanks here. Scan comes down here. Reveals the whole army of Hunio. But Hunio is going to siege up his tank, however. Thing is, Homano does not know about this command center. So this is the dead in the water here. A model finally putting down his second command center, getting it landed here, starting to build SUVs for this section. Getting his third CC as well, knowing he's right behind, double expanding here. But getting, not getting far ahead here at all. As he's running low in minerals here. As we are going to get to take the long detour here for you know, his army is going to go all the way around. Not going to go up the center of the map here at all. And somehow, Mono as this Meg Accelerator is finished here for our Green Terran player. But this is too much for him to handle here. Stim is almost halfway complete here. Get beautiful scan here. Seeing where the army is going. Army is going over here to the third base location. Thinking that Humano is over there. Another scan revealing them again. Tanks coming in here. Auto turrets coming down here. Pushing away the Cyclones here. Away from the tanks. These Marines are free range to go in. as plus... As Stim is almost done here as well, this this command center is going to go down. And Humano may have done it here. However, there's more, a Raven here doing some more damage here. However, that's not enough for hit for Humano. And Junio is going to take game number two and the series. Well played. You're the first ever Destiny Star League. Files. GG well play. All ranked guys, here we go. All right, what's the next series here? Doing a lot of, we're doing a lot of the uh, group stages here just to Cast the games that never got casted here from that weekend. And here we go. We're going to go to the next series. We have Exo Striker and Hamano. 
And we're going to Oxide as the first map. Get another PVT action here. All right, another best the three scenario here. All right, let's give it up here for the top right hand corner of Oxide. As the yellow Protoss team color we have here from Elf X, we have Exo Striker. And representing HTT as the green Terran player here on the bottom left hand corner of Ox of the map. We have a mono. Alright guys, would like to thank Berserker Esports for partnering up with the Destiny Star League to support the prize pool even more. We thank you for your con contribution to the league and supporting these young players ages between 18, sorry, between 13 and 18. These young player, pro players and not just pro, we have elite players as well. We have some open guys that love to play StarCraft but not fully committed as well because these are all high schoolers. Or secondary students, depending where you are from. Very interesting here from Exo Striker. Going for his in his first game, he's going Nexus before Core. We've seen him do this in the, the last series he was in, and we're getting a Reaper into a factory here for a, a model. All right, Reaper is out now for her model. Should be going across the map. However, this map is really easy to wall off. And we are going for the Stargate play once again here. From Exel Striker. Ooh, what's this probe up to? Very sneaky little probe here from Exo Striker. However, Reaper and Hellion, Reapers and Hellion are gonna go across the map here. However, with Dep and Probe here, <gasps> there's a hole in the wall. But however, Hamato is gonna come back here. The SCV is gonna go down here. Hamato realizing he does not have an add-on. The Hell, the Hellion is gonna go down here. Good pick off from. Extra striker getting that Hellion as well. Delaying the second command center. However, there are three Reapers and a Hellion going across the map here. There's likely there is a Stalker and a Adept here back at home. There is no full wall off here. As there is a Reaper here. Reapers can jump and play around here. But the... A Dep and Hellion goes down, but however, this is not a really good trade here for Hermana. Reaper fighting for his life here is going to get taken out. However, that's not a really good trade there for Hermana. It was a better trade for Exo Striker. And the overall outcome. Alright guys.
cyclone here. So we're getting a robotics facility off forage. Extra striker going for the Phoenix play here. He's got the Oracle as well. Phoenix here to escort the Oracle in here. Gonna make sure the Viking is out. The Phoenix is here. Oh my goodness, the Viking is going to fall here. The Cyclone here is going to... Oh, that range of the Cyclone here. However, there's another Phoenix as well. I'm going for that five. Is he going to go five? Phoenix is here. Couple probes wanting to go fight here. All right, we're going to stop at the magic f number of four Phoenixes here as they are going to go across the map here once again. Gain that robotics bay as well. Getting a third base as well. Extra striker going for that fast, faster third base than his opponent here. Oh, that would have been a nice pick off there. Ooh, pick off the cyclone, but however, there's Marines there to support it. The Viking is going to push this away. The Revelation is going to come down. And that is it for... Yeah, just a Viking... Gonna go down here for Exo Striker. Sorry for Hamano. Ooh, nice little stasis warp, but however, that is not enough. Just one Marine. And this army is gonna go push across the map here. However, there's no. However, there is no. Medivacs with this push. So this is not looking good for Hamano, but however. Siege tanks are going to siege up here. There's nice to have this next is done as well. However, is not going to get done here. He must have canceled this earlier and re start rebuilding it because that could have been done by now. Siege tank is going to leapfrog up. Love to see the phoenixes come here and lift up the tank. One tank is going to get lift off here. A disruptor here is getting a nice little hit here. Bikey is trying to get off these. But both tanks are going to get picked up here. However, there's another sea tank is going to come in here. This is going to be pushed back away. And Hamano is going to get the shield batteries here. The Marines are here pushing away. Not Stim's not even complete. Extra Striker is going to tap out here. And Hamano is going to take game number one. GG well play. All in favor there for Extra Striker. Hamano was just building up an army here there and it paid off in the end gg well played from x for x striker in hamano okay all right All right, game number two. Let's go to Death Aura. All right, guys, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, not Germany. <laughs> I cannot speak today. All right, needs to win this map to stay alive. Representing Alpha X, this is the yellow protoss. We have Axel Striker. And representing Korea and team 
H T T. We have here as the green turn player. We have a mono. Mono going for that double gas. Probe here from Exo Striker. It's just going to be a little nuisance here. As as per usual. Not too much going on here in the early game. However, we do are we are seeing that Nexus burst once again here. From Exo Striker. In this car, we're getting that factory once again. Alright guys, not too much here in the early game, just all the usual and the TVP here. Getting that Stargate once again. Reaper checking out for proxies. Not Extra Striker not really known to proxy, but if he does, he does. It's rarely, I find. Games I have seen. Going to a depth opener here into the stalker. Very interesting indeed here. Actually, due to his opponent, does the heavy Reaper Halion opener as well here. We are going to get that the first unit here is the Oracle coming out. Now, there is nothing here at home defending to defend us. There's no Marines, both factory and the. Barracks getting the add-ons on, but however, there is a bit of a push here. Three Reapers and a couple of Hellions as well. Oracle is going to come out and see that as well. There's an Adept here. Oh, the wall is not completely sealed off here. Reaper and a Hellion. Uh, both Hellions are going to get picked off. However, the two Reapers are going to get in. Going to take off one probe as well here. Warp Gate is just finishing in time here. Three probes are going to go down for one Reaper though. Good trade for the Reaper, but however, three SUVs at the back at home here for Hamano are going to go down. Five SUVs. All the ones on the gas are pretty much all gone. Six are going to go down here. Another one goes down. A mule expires, so this is actually looking good here. Cyclone is going to come out in time. Going to come out in time here, just in time to push this away. And uh, Oracle is going to get out as well. Alright, a couple of Phoenix here to come out to support this Oracle. Axel Striker going for a quicker, going to be for a bit quicker third here, getting a Forge as well. To hoping to get the upgrade lead, get, trying to get that economy lead here. The Viking is going to land here as well. Alright, getting that all pushed well, almost all completely all the way home. We have a robotics bay here. But honestly, the robotics just let go down, but there is one here as an 
Observer is being made here. Stim underway here for Hamano as well here. Vikings are getting forced to land once again. Getting picked up as well. Exo Striker trying to keep the units of Hamano at home here. With his Phoenix and Oracles. However, some boys are being pulled here to be... To repair the tanks in the Cyclone. However, the Observer is going to go up in time here. Going to see this push. Viking are going to try to get the Oracle here. However, that's not going to be enough here. But hey, there is a lot of army here. Look, the army supply is pretty similar to each other. But plus one ground weapons is going to finish here before rather than the same time as Stim. Oh my goodness. If that. The SCV is going to take the bait here. There is a lot of stalkers. The Colossus is finally going to come out here as well. Colossus. Guardian Shield is going to get activated here. The Colossus is going to have Thermal Lance in a few seconds. But whatever. Plus one. Grand Weapons level one is going to finish here. The Colossus is going to get pushed back here. We'll love to see the Shield Battery overcharged. Plus one. Ground Weapons is going to complete here. And this is going to be GG. And X Striker is going to take game number two. GG. Well played. striker tying up the series gg well played there as we get into game number three here the last game i'm going to be ending the stream here for a bit because supper is on its way thank you for everyone tuning in first ever destiny star league files hopefully we can get more games like this during the weeks and as we go to game number three here Nice little cast here for you guys. Because there will be more of these coming up this week as well. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Players of all ages and all genders. Just tying up this game of the last map. Here uh, from Alpha X, we have Axel Striker. And representing HTT and Korea, we have Hamano. And what are we up to, Hamano? Hamano going across the map here. Doing a little dance. Waiting for that supply depot to finish up. Getting the minerals as well. We are going to get a proxy racks here, ladies and gentlemen. Going to get a proxy racks and a racks back at home. Very interesting indeed here. Probe to the comes thing. No, thinking it is a roughly the same time here as for this barracks to show up. However, it is not. Extra striker going for that. Once again, he's going for that early nexus. Once again, here we're getting a marine here as well at the home to get rid of this probe. And we are going to get proxy marauders. Once again, here. Roxy Marauders. Now, Concussion Shell going to start? No? Alright, a couple of Marines here. Are gonna, well, there's the Concussion Shells. Are going to start up here. Some SUVs are going to go across the map here as well. We're going to get some... Ooh, really good. Nice little Bunker Rush as well. Stalker almost finished here, but... Not going to be enough here for... Um, 
for Exo Striker. Exo Striker getting a shield battery. That's good and all, but however, he. Oh, he's going to change it up here. Going for the Twilight Council this time, however. SUVs coming across the map here. Marines and Marauders. This shield battery will go down. SUVs do trade really nicely against Dockers. Gonna take out this. Oh my goodness, the shield's not gonna get finished here. The first shield battery is gonna go down here. Concussion shell is finished. That soccer's gonna go down. The pylon is gonna go down here as well. Bunkers are gonna start getting. The gateway is not finished. Twilight Council is gonna get cancelled here. The. Oh no, this is not looking good here for our yellow Protoss player. No, oh, probes are just going to fall to pieces here. GG. And Humano is just going to take a nice, clean game number three. Quick and easy. GG, well played. Oh, right, guys. That was from the Group C from Season 2. Group Sages for Pro Division. We go in Group D. There was a lot of protests this season guys we had the majority of season one protoss made it across or automatically invited to the next seasons there was a lot of protoss versus something pretty much protoss versus x the entire season Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, Protoss versus X, and every every group stage there was. And then the playoffs came. It was Terran versus X, pretty much. In the playoffs, if you guys have missed that, you can check us out on the Destiny Star League YouTube channel. The playoffs. As we go to game number one here in this best of three. Itch the nose. Alright guys. Representing as the blue Terran player here from Korea. And T representing Team NV. We have Percival. Representing he's clean list right now. He's from Australia. We have Starduck. All right, guys. This is a bit of the fan favor here, Percival. As well, a little disclosure. A mono would not be returning in season three due to the age restriction. So, however, I have asked him if he would like to be our ambassador for the Korean players. He's gladly joining us on the staff. That way, we can get more young Koreans as well onto the into the league as well. Alright, Percival gonna scout here, seeing- okay, okay, getting your gas. Nothing too much here. As we do see Starduck getting a proxy pylon here in the middle of the map here. We'd love to see what this is. Is it gonna be a dark shrine? No, it's gonna be a robotics facility. Now, is it gonna be a twilight as well on top of this? Or is it gonna be a double immortal drop here? Which would be very interesting indeed, especially on a map like this. As well. Getting the factory as well here. Getting the unorthodox natural here. Starduck 
What in the world are you doing, my good sir? Or ma'am? Getting the unorthodox natural here. Confuse Percival thinking that Stardock is only doing a one base all in here. However, that is not going on. As the adept is going to come across here, across the map, do its scouting, does it does its thing. Okay, we're going to get the observer. Reaper is going to come in here, says, okay, there's no natural yet. All right, adept is going to get onto the bunker here. However, this is the main focus here. Adept trying to get this reaper. The reaper is, ooh, reaper is going to get caught red-handed here and most likely going to get picked off here. Adept? as well it is going to be a proxy immortal build here and start up going going in here and trying to see what's going on here there is a star port here as well want to see a scan get rid of that pesky little guy SUV is going to find the immortal surprisingly here finding the immortal Engineering bait is gonna get it cancelled here. Tank is gonna come out as well here. Apply some pressure. Work gate is gonna finish around the same time here as the war prism is gonna get out. However, first of all, does not still does not know about this base. Twilight Council as well here. Phoenix coming. No, sorry, not a Phoenix. A Viking is going to come out. Scan is going to come in as well here. And that Observer is going to go away. Now it's just going to be just going to be the one Immortal here. Which is hoping for a double Immortal. However, the Viking is going to get try and get the Warp Prism here. Trying to keep it away from the Immortal as well here. Oh my goodness, Percival is going to clean it all up here. And now he can push across the map here. As Starduck is going to get his third base in the natural location here. However, there is a big push coming here. Only Zealots coming here. Immortals have to walk across the map here. Not going to be good enough. Not going to be there in time. Especially with this heavy bio tank push here. From Percival. Hallucinated Phoenix is going to scout this. But however, Starduck is in a lot of trouble here. Losing that War Prism. Losing the Immortal as well. Not good as well. The Siege Tank sieging up in a beautiful location here. And... All this is going to get cancelled here. The pylon doesn't get cancelled though. Will the Stargate... The Viking is going to land here to help. Scouts the, the Templar Archives. However, there's not enough... There's not enough here for Starduck to clean this all up. The Artosis pylon is going to get cleaned up here. And that's going to shut down all production. However, the only production there is is this... Proxy robotics facility here, but that is not enough. The immortal is chasing the tank here. Oh my goodness What have we come to here? Templar archive being Destroyed here would love to see the Twilight Council getting Denied here one high Templar here for the winning guys a zealot An immortal in a sentry nice feedback there from the from the High Templar there onto the Medivac as well. High Templar is going to get caught here. However, the second Immortal is going to show up here, but however, there is more gateways. First of all, getting his third base location on location, however, that's not enough for Stardock. That's GG, and Percival is going to take game one. GG, well played.
All right, game number two coming along, guys. Nice little, nice little style there from Starduck against Percival to try and get. A, I don't know, like it was a nice little proxy he was trying to do there. However, losing that warp prism in Immortal was not the idea. Was not the good part for Starduck. If he would have had that, um, apologies. If he were to have that first immortal and the or prism, he could have been able to juggle. The Viking would have been busy targeting the warp prism. The immortal would be busy taking out the tanks. However, just not the Viking was just out in time here. As we get to game. Oh, when you alt tab out of the game, hey guys. All right, game number two here. Taking the last map here off his opponent, representing Team NV, we have Percival. And representing Australia. Don't know the clan tag he has here, but he is, according to us, he's clanless. We have Starduck. All right, what does Starduck have up his sleeve this game? So we see here a probe, just getting out to see if there's a proxy brax here. Didn't even realize there was no music. Dang. Alright, getting that Reaper opener as well. Nothing too fancy here. It's a probe, it's just gonna be annoying. Getting a Cybercore Nexus build here. First of all, gonna scout that. As well. And if you guys have missed any of the groups, not the group stages, any of the playoff stages in our Destiny Hero series, please check out our, the YouTube page, Destiny Star League. As you can see, all the content we have created so far. Hit that subscribe button as well while you're over there. All right, the Reaper is not going to go into the base to scout here. Just going to back off. Stardock going to keep the robotics facility inside his own base this time. Realizing last game that didn't do him so good. This both players finishing up their naturals. First of all, going for a starport here. Would love to see what Starduck is up to as well. Not too familiar with these two players and what kind of play styles they are. This is a learning curve for me. We're going to get the Reaper Hellions as well. Ooh, we're going to get a Widow Mine as well here from Percival. Very interesting indeed here. As we get the Reaper Hellion pressure here. Couple of depths here though. We're gonna. Ooh! The Hellion is gonna get in here. However, the third adept is gonna get that Hellion. Get a scout off here. Gonna see the robotics bay as well here. Getting a reward prism. Looking like a disruptor drops here. As well. Reaper healing here. Gonna get picked off here, but however, it scouted everything. 
doesn't even not a good trade for Percival. Not even getting a, a DEP or a SCV. As the uh, ooh the Azerber just saw that as it goes by. We're gonna whittle mine drop here. We're getting the warp prism speed here as well. Stardock going for his third base as well here. Looking good here as his drop is gonna come in. The boost. Oh, love the boost effect here. Little mines gonna drop here. Stardock's not paying attention here. Uh oh, uh oh. He's not paying attention. That one little mine gets six probes. Now he's paying attention, realizing there was a. Oh, another probe's gonna go down. Seven probes so far. Going down here for two. For two Widow Mines. For one Widow Mine, actually. One Widow Mine is going to get away here. Probably at least one HP left here. The Reserver is going to come back here. We are going to get that Disruptor drop. As well. Ooh, we're going to get a early, very early Colossi as well here. What are you up to, Starduck? Plus one infantry here. Plus... The stim pack as well. Combat shield. Thermal lance here. It's the next upgrade here. The depths are going to go push across the map here. I don't even see a twilight council. So this is going to be an interesting push. We have marauder marine here. Viking is going to pick off this war prism. War prism has speed though. And look at it go. Little fast little guy here. Going. A lot faster than the Viking, that is for sure. Just want to make him drop it. Just kidding, guys. Yeah, just Marine Marauder here back at home for Percival. The three barracks. Ooh, we're going to go Triple M, actually. Getting those Medivex as well. Twilight Council finally coming down. Branch into the Dark Templar or the High Art. Hi, Templars, get that storm. Remember, the Destructor Drop has been fooled again. Meanwhile, there is this bio and mine army going across here. <gasps> the, oh my goodness. Getting a Widow Mine. Not good enough here, however. This bio mine army is going across the map. You're going towards the third base here. Little mine is going to burrow here. The Colossus is going to come out here. Thermal Lint just finished. Oh, the sentries are going to go down here. So is the War Prism. So is the Disruptor. This Colossus has nothing to say. However, there is a. Ooh, there is a Medivac full of Marines here at behind here, behind the natural base. Another Colossus is going to come out here. However, this is not enough here. These are plus one Stim Marines and Marauders. Oh, the Marauders going for that. Oh my goodness. Watching Marauders just take out a Colossi. That is kind of cool. Kind of bad for Starbuck, however. That is GG. Well played. First of all, it's going to take game number two and two. Welcome back. Stop. Welcome back, good sir. All right, guys, I'm gonna get into the last series here. I don't even know where the fiance is. I said she was on her way home, and she's stopping at Burger King. Alright. As we go to the next series here, we have Starduck versus Jeros. You guys want to join and support these young players as well? We do have a Discord. Oh, as I get the link here, as we load into the next game here. We 
We do have a Discord. We do have some Maturinos to be used up as well for Season 2. And there's also Season 3 in the Discord as well. As we go for more PVT all season long, it has been... All group stages have been PVX. And then when we got to the playoffs, it was a TVX. And then it turned into TVT. If you guys have missed the playoffs, we do have a YouTube channel. Just look up Destiny Star League, and that's where you'll find us. As we get into the game here. Representing himself and Australia, we have Stardock. And representing Ukraine and Harbringer, we have Jaros. As I start this series, the fiance comes home with the food. All right, food's been delivered, but that's not going to stop us from this proxy racks. What's this? And proxy marauders once again here. SCV is going to come in here. Just going to scoop out the scoop out the area. All right, Jeros is getting his orbital as well. The cushion shell marauders proxy in a TVP. No barracks. Sorry, no no bunkers. The first Marauders are going to come in here. Three of them at a time here. Ah. Refreshing drink here. These Marauders putting in time here. Concussion Shell done it as well. Oh my goodness. Jeros, you madman. Getting that stalker. Stalker is gonna go down here. Some probes. Looking good here. Only one Marauder going down so far. The second Marauder might go down here. However, nope, it's not. The shield battery is gonna get all oh, the second shield battery is here. Third the second the Marauder is gonna escape here. The second Marauder is gonna go down, unfortunately. And oh my goodness. Jeros. You madman. Getting a lot done here. Only losing ooh, losing three Marauders. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. However, Peroxy Cushion Shell Marauders coming in here. Gonna get that pylon. Trying to get the production done here. However, probes are being pulled once again. Oh my goodness. This is such a beautiful play here. Sarduk is gonna go GG. And Daryl's is gonna take game number one. Everyone is welcome to join on the Discord channel for the Destiny Star League as we do, do. We have three divisions. We have a, at the end of the three divisions after the season is done, we do a Destiny Heroes series. And the for season two series is going to be 
Magnus versus the elite champion. Uh, Lucas Dark from Berserk Esports. It's going to be a nice little team rivalry here between De uh, Berserker Esports and Platinum Heroes. So it'll be interesting to see which which team's high-end player here going to take on the victory. That match is happening at 6.30 p.m. Central European time on February 7th during... Same time as our qualifiers that weekend. Well, is EU qualifiers are at six Central European time. So stick, stay tuned. Join the Discord for that as well. We do have a match arena. We do have a match arena for that as well. So join the Discord and get the match arena. To get into game number two here, we're going to be the last game and last series cast here today as we put in the Red Protoss player representing Australia. We have Starduck representing Ukraine and Harbringer. We have Jeros. All right, guys, another match on death aura here as I'm going to sneak a couple fries here while they're still hot As we are going to get the Cybercore Nexus expansion here from Starduck. Very standard need here. SUV versus Pro. Oh, the SUV is just going to get out in time here. The probe trying to do the command center block here. SUV is not having any of that. That SUV is a hero. He's surviving with 5 HP. All right, SUV is gonna come home here, saying that probe. Hey, get out of here, probe. However, there is a factory coming down. That's the follow-up here. Oh my goodness, this probe is like, no, I don't want you building this here. I want to build something here. Marines gonna come up. One marine's gonna come down. Second marine is gonna make sure that probe does not come up. The oh my goodness, the probe is going to go down. Jeros has had enough of the shenanigans. As the adept, it's gonna come across here for Starduck. That adept escaping with its life, losing came down to fourteen HP. Four Marines gonna push that away. Love to see the shade go forward there. Push the Marines back more. However, there is a robotics facility as well here. Blink being researched this game as well for our Protoss player. This work gate is just finishing right now. Let's read that star port here. Love to see what... Oh, he's going to put the... Okay, he's going to put the start port on the reactor. On the tech lab. Getting a little cloak banshees here. Very interesting indeed here. However, 
couple of Hellions are going to get a Stalker. Oh my goodness, Hellions is getting a Stalker. Hellions is coming across the map here. Very interesting play here from our Ukrainian Terran player here. Oh my goodness, would love to see a draw, um, a medevac with this. Almost a drop ship. That's that's brood war nonsense. Getting a stalker to a depth. Oh my goodness, a barbecue here for four hellions and six marines. We're getting fifteen probes, two a depth and a stalker. Wow, nice little push there from Jaros. Now the Banshee is out. No one observer on the way here for our Australian Protoss player. The power of the Brooker King. As Warp Prism here. Kinda the poor man Blink going on. However, Blink is about to be finished here. Stalker is gonna come down here. The de depth is gonna come down as well. Poor man Blink happening here. Banshee is gonna get caught here. Meanwhile, the, the first Banshee is here back at home. Observer is gonna catch the cloak. However, the cloak is here, but there's no Observer here. Siege tanks are gonna push this away as well. Not looking good here for Stardock. As you can see, the probe count is starting to count up. One Vanshee is going to finally go down here. However, more probes. Look at that trade there for Jaros. Jaros is on the ball tonight. Well, here. Cheese tanks. There's cheese tanks in the main base here. However, that's going to stop this third base here. Maybe even longer. Trying to get the cancel as well. There are two Banshees here, though. So this is looking good here for Gerald. Gerald's is trying to get pushed away. Stalkers are going to get picked up and get out of here. Would love to see a Viking as well here, or a Liberator. However, there is a little bit of push here. There's a, some Stalkers here. We did not catch that quite quickly there. Cheese Tanks in the range here. A couple more Barracks going to come down here. There's nothing else but probe production here for our Protoss player. Finally getting down his third as well. He's delayed Gerald's third for so long. It's like, okay, now I'm finally ahead. He thinks he's ahead, but really, Gerald's is in the lead here. Gotta love those mules. Oh my goodness. Cheese tanks. Two of them, too, as well. Gonna blank away here. Gotta go home. No upgrades on... The stalkers just blink plus one infantry then plus one armor as well here for our ukrainian terran player plus the stim pack coming in as well as combat shields the charge is far from got being done here startup is looking to crumble here trying to blink onto these siege tanks but there's four siege tanks here to support each other a lot of marine a lot of bile she said as there is marauders as well making sure there's no observer above this army see this push the observer is over here now it sees the push oh my goodness the war prism is right there all oh, the siege tanks are gonna get blinked on one siege tank is gonna lose oh my goodness the marauder is gonna get cut off guard here and the third base is being sieged here. Marines are going to come out here. They're almost plus one. Plus one is almost complete here. Charge is going to complete here soon. Well, Stardock trying to delay enough for the charge. Meanwhile, Marauder, Marines. It's a couple siege tanks. Three siege tanks are going to siege up here as well. Got to get on top of that robotics facility. This is looking good for... Gerald. Gerald is going to cancel down these. Shut down two of these Stargates as well. Going to put some pressure on to the Nexus here. As you can see, the probe count is just going to go up. Archons are going to show up here, but at what extent here? There's three tanks here. Two tanks. Here. GG. It's going to be called here. 
And Gerald's. It's gonna take game number three. Alright, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Already just started, and these young players. Oops, the label showed. All right. I had to take a drink, guys. That was too much action for one. That was too much there. That was quite the back and forth there. Gerald's winning match. Two to zero. Just going to check the other replays. How long could they be? Honestly, he's actually on the way back home. There. Actually, I might come back tomorrow and cast some more. And more files here. Yeah, there's quite a bit from Elite as well. And if you guys want support, you guys can join the Discord or follow and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Post the YouTube channel here as well for everyone. Because we are on YouTube as well. And our Twitter. We are on Twitter as well. Hit them, hit a follow there as well. We're on Twitter. We're on YouTube as well. Hit that subscribe button. Help the league out. Help these young players get recognized as well. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with more Destiny Leaks, Destiny Star League files. Part 2 tomorrow. And it's going to be the Elite Division. And I hope to catch you guys tomorrow and early. Have a good night, morning, or afternoon, wherever you are. And see you then. Bye now.